Paroxysmal hemicrania and hemicrania continua are two types of trigeminal autonomic cephalages. Trigeminal autonomic cephalages are a group of primary headache disorders characterized by one-sided head pain and cranial autonomic symptoms. Cranial autonomic symptoms include tearing or redness of the eye, constriction of the eye, drooping or swelling of the eyelid, nasal congestion or runny nose, ear fullness, facial sweating, or flushing. Paroxysmal means sudden attack, and continua means continuous. Hemicrania refers to one side of the head. According to the International Classification of Headache Disorders, paroxysmal hemicrania is characterized by attacks of severe, one-sided pain around or above the eye or in the temporal region of the head, lasting two to 30 minutes, occurring five or more times per day. The criteria also states that at least 20 attacks must be experienced to make this diagnosis and that attacks are accompanied by either restlessness or agitation and or at least one cranial autonomic symptom occurring on the same side as the pain. Episodic paroxysmal hemicrania is when someone experiences at least two bouts of attacks that last from seven days up to one year and are separated by pain-free periods of three months or greater. Chronic paroxysmal hemicrania is when periods of relief are less than three months in a one-year span or there are no symptom-free periods at all. Chronic paroxysmal hemicrania is more common. Now let's discuss hemicrania continua. Hemicrania continua is a persistent or continuous one-sided headache that is present for three months or greater with attacks of moderate or severe intensity. According to this diagnostic criteria, there must also be the presence of either restlessness or agitation or aggravation of the pain with movement and or at least one cranial autonomic symptom that occurs on the same side as the head pain. Hemicrania continua can be classified as remitting or unremitting. Remitting hemicrania continua means there are spontaneous pain-free periods of at least 24 hours without treatment. Unremitting hemicrania continua is defined as a continuous pain for one year, with any pain-free periods being less than 24 hours. Unremitting hemicrania continua is more common. It is very important to note the final diagnostic criterion of both paroxysmal hemicrania and hemicrania continua is that they respond to the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug endomethacin. Response to endomethacin is one of the ways these two disorders may be differentiated from the other trigeminal autonomic cephalgias. Relief is generally quite fast. Endomethacin should be tapered occasionally, typically after six months, to determine if remission has occurred. If endomethacin cannot be tolerated, there are other medications and treatments that may be helpful. For example, non-invasive vagus nerve stimulation is FDA cleared for the treatment of paroxysmal hemicrania and hemicrania continua. Other secondary conditions should be excluded by neuroimaging and relevant lab work prior to diagnosis. To learn more about these conditions, visit migrainedisorders.org.